What's up, fireballers? Today I'm headed north on Pacific Coast Highway driving the 600 horsepower 2019 Cadillac CTSV. I'm taking this up to the Murphy for the spectacular vintage trailer show. There's gonna be 40 plus vintage trailers. I don't think there's gonna be any Cadillac vintage trailers, although that would be cool. But the Murphy's been doing this show for quite some time. It's always spectacular. There's gonna be over a thousand people there and we're gonna have a spectacular time because that's what we do. is truly a beauty, and I can't imagine driving on any other road than PCH. We are at the Murphy Museum before the zoo opens, before the crazy amount of people that are going to show up here anytime. It's about nine o'clock or so. Everyone's getting ready. All the trailers are in place. And well, let's just go look at them. so many people poking around. Uh, I barely even had time to go to the bathroom. I'm doing that now.
the Murphy Vintage Trailer Show. This is Amber. Hi. And you have a spectacular trailer. Thank Minus. you. Tell me about this. Uh, this is actually an Airstream. Mm -hmm. Everybody takes a guess at it and they wonder why we painted our Airstream. But in the 70s, there was a model of Airstream that came with a paint job. And That's right. Of shiny silver. Very unique. It's called the Argosy. It's from 1977. They would have been white originally and mm -hmm. this one was painted gray some time ago. Um, almost all original inside with a few modifications and uh, we just love it. And what, what's the best thing about being into vintage trailers for you? The community. Yeah. Everyone yeah. getting together and sharing your stories. And it's like show and tell on a large scale. Right. Uh, it's a hobby that takes you places. You're literally. on vacation all the time. Well, it's still work, but yes, it's <laughs> definitely enjoyable. And awesome. just the all the accoutrements and all the good people yeah. and just the uniqueness of every piece and every person. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here today yes, with nice us. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hi guys! Hi there! <laughs> Little schnozzes! Who's this? Oscar! Hi Oscar! Hi Oscar! Oh, buddy. Three little sausages! Buddy, yes they are! <laughs> Still at the Murphy all day long, man. All yeah. day long. This is Larry, and he has a, uh, a couple of uh, vehicles here the trailer as well as this Willys yeah. behind us. That's correct. Uh, tell me about the Willys first. Well, the Willys is my dad's baby. He bought this Jeep brand new in 1953, and he did all these different modifications. So it's not an original Willys, it's yeah. dad's original Willys. <laughs> right. Because wow. he lengthened it. Yeah. He put this little V8 in it in 1956. Right. Post war Lockheed engineer. We did all these trips to Arizona and Utah from work and pulling the teardrop here in second gear the whole time with yeah. the four cylinder engine. Right. So we did the research and made the adapter plates. So that's been there since 1956. We made the body extension, had the gauges. And so again, it is Dad's original. Yeah. 53. That's <laughs> awesome. Southwest in 1949 with his Buick convertible, which didn't do well. Okay. He bought a 1946 Jeep and did that for a couple of years. Now he had four wheel drive. Okay. But in the road to the Southwest of that day, you didn't have room for extra fuel, water, etc. Right. So he bought this trailer in 1952, used for $400, and changed it all to be an off road adventure vehicle. With Bigger wheels. So 400 bucks axle. back then, that was a lot. It was. Yeah. Yeah. But this has been in the family ever since 1952. Wow. And they never bought a bigger trailer. They used this into the 90s. Because they wanted to camp, they camped. And are you going to give this to your kids? I don't have kids. That's why <laughs> David Neal and I have got to be good friends. Oh, right. right. <laughs> so, no, it's been in our family, and that's why it survived. We never bought a bigger trailer. Yeah. So it always stayed in the garage. It's got plenty of patina, yeah. but not the damage you have if it was left outside of the Yeah. So these cameras, most of the pictures you see were taken with those two. Yeah. And that's the 60s. Wow. Such great history.
such a great show, an amazing show every single year, but uh, like uh, the young lady Amber said, it's more than just a show. It is a group of people sharing a cohesive idea. And that whole idea is based in love. It's based on this passion that that they all share. And through that, we get to share that with you guys. Now, before I met David, I, I didn't really appreciate vintage trailers all that much. I suppose that's something that a lot of us go through when we were young. We certainly uh, were around trailers, but it really wasn't about the trailer at all. It was about what the trailer did. It's about the, the journey and the excitement of discovery. The idea of exploring, the idea of, of uh, just reaching out and going. I've loved driving since I was a kid, and although I didn't necessarily learn to drive until I was about 13 or 14, but the idea that you could get into a car and go somewhere and, and have a unique experience, uh, someplace you had never been before, was quite enticing. But the idea that you could take your home with you, oh, that's a whole different ballgame. Don't let anyone tell you you shouldn't do something because it'll be too tough, or uh, it'll take too long, or it'll cost too much, or whatever that lame excuse might be. You gotta get out there, people. You gotta get out there and experience the world like these guys in the Vintage Trailer Show. Yes, the Murphy Museum is moving, and we won't be able to take all the trailers that we currently have, but there's still the Buellton Vintage Trailer Show. There's still an amazing trailer show that we have every year at that museum, even though it's gonna be in a whole new location. But trust me when I say we're gonna have a whole new store, and we're gonna have a lot of vintage trailer coolness there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that's the end of the vlog. Be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. This is Fireball Malibu Vlog. I'm Fireball Tim, and I'm out of here.